You know what? Projection is so much more than just the distance that you are trying to have your voice be heard across. Yeah, We've spoken several times over the course of the last couple of days, the different elements, the different factors that usually, naturally, you employ to change the projection of your voice, whether it be the kind of person you're talking to, the kind of image you want to project about yourself, <laughs> project, uh, also the message, also the location, and also the character that you want to portray, maybe in voiceover acting, that kind of thing. Today, we're talking about projection and the audience. Because your volume will alter depending on how many people are listening and where they are and what they're doing. We've seen some of this already when we discussed vo vocal proxemics and how you adjust your projection if you can't see your audience. So let's develop that a little. What if your audience is captive, not, not in a hostage situation, but if they're watching a video presentation, maybe an online training or webinar as part of their job, yeah, so they're most likely by themselves, possibly in an office, wearing headphones, in which case you're talking to them one-to-one, -one, so a softer, more personal voice is one that is best to employ. And also it depends perhaps on what platform the audience is listening to you on. If they're listening through headphones, that requires a, a personal setting, doesn't it? You're probably listening to me on headphones now. But if you're listening to me as part of a flash briefing on an Alexa, that's coming from across the room. So maybe it's not going straight into your ears, but across the room. And that could be battling with the ambience of the room, but also maybe the kettle that's on, or maybe a child that's talking to you, or maybe the washing machine that's going. You could be speaking to someone via a tannoy, a loudspeaker, an in-store announcement. And that kind of voice requires something different. You have to be a little bit more energised. We spoke about energy in presentation a couple of weeks ago. That energy cut through the shopping hubbub with news of special offers or missing children or whatever. Note, that's not necessarily volume, but more intensity, focus, projection, energy. We spoke about this, as I say, a couple of three weeks ago. So knowing how and where your content will be heard also helps you set your own control. Volume versatility means that in these different situations and others, we control our loudness without even realising what we're doing. To be more effective in voice acting, script reading and presentation, we need to identify what we do naturally and replicate it in the false scenario of reading words from a page in a studio or on a stage. Tomorrow, we're looking at voice extremes. In a couple of days time, we're going to be looking at the extremes of quietness and whispering. Tomorrow, the louder voice. And also, in a couple of days time, we're going to be talking about shouts and screams. As we look at the extremes of voice work, as Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice continues from London. I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>